On the ocean floor, there's believed to be more than $32 billion worth of valuables just waiting to be discovered. Carl Allen, who grew up in Chicago, created his own company to uncover some of the biggest treasures in sunken ships around the Bahamas. Carl joins us now to tell us more. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Chicago Land. I suspect technology makes it maybe a little easier than 50 or 100 years ago. What have you found so far? Anything good? Oh, yeah. We found a lot of good stuff. Uh, GPS is a big help these days. You know, we have we have magnetometers and metal detectors, side scan sonars. I, I like to carry this piece close to my vest here. This is a, <laughs> what is that? That's a eight-foot gold chain that we think was made in the China in the early 1600s. Wow. It's got 80... Are, you know, carved circles to it, little cuffs. Uh, it weighs about three pounds. What's that worth? One of my favorite things is this this tiny little cross here. Oh, yeah. That actually is embedded with wood. Hmm. And we're trying to carbon date that wood because if it's over a couple thousand years old, it, it may come from the Christ, uh, a cross of Christ or possibly St. James. So, Carl, cool. I, I wonder, you know, can anybody, if you have the money and you have the technology and you find a boat... Can you claim anything in there? I thought there was disputes with, like, the Bahamas or different countries wanting ownership of something that's off their coast. How does that work? Uh, well, you know, the Bahamas is a sovereign nation, and um, I've worked with the Bahamas for many years. I've been going there my whole life. I own a little island called Walker's Key, um, and it's about getting a license. And, and uh, they had a 30-year moratorium, and, and I went to them with a program that we, we would do it right, where nothing would leave the country. We would employ Bahamians. I opened a lab, a museum, a conservatory in, in Lukaya, uh, and, and possibly in the future, a museum in, in Nassau. So it's going very well. We have thousands and thousands of artifacts and uh, things like this thing. We have a, this is a seven pound piece of gold that was probably contraband because you can fit it in your hand like that. But mm. uh, lots, of, lots of amethyst. We got a, there's about a 50 carat amethyst we found. And a ton of emeralds, you know, they, they weren't on the manifest, but there's about a 15 carat uncut emerald. So you don't uh, keep these for yourself, you, you give them to the country of the Bahamas? Well, we have a deal uh, that we have a 50-50 split, ah. and uh, half of it goes to the government, and half of it stays in my museum. I, I, I am not in this for the money. I never have been. Matter of fact, this has ended up costing me a lot of money, but mm. I'm in it for the history uh, one of the coolest things we found, and this was this was a, a you know a guard for a sword handle, and it had a gentleman's name on the top, and and that confirmed uh, that we were on the right ship called the Maravilla wow. that sank in 1956. Wow, what's the what's the next uh, shipwreck that you think is uh, a treasure that you're looking for? Well, we're still salvaging the Maravilla. We've not found a mother load or a main pile or anything, but but um, we're following this magnificent. I call it the yellow brick road of, you know, all these incredible artifacts we found. But but in our area, I have 250 square miles of the Bahamas. We've identified 19 other wrecks uh, just doing what we're doing. And uh, I just don't have the time or the resources to get to them. Wow. Well, we'll come Great. down and help. <laughs> I'll <laughs> yeah, send Larry down. <laughs> yeah. He'll be a big help. I'll bring my snorkel. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you get back to Chicago much to show off this stuff at all? Uh, yeah, my mother still lives in Lake Forest. I do get up there quite a bit. I went to Loyola Academy, so oh, I, yeah. for high school, I got a lot, a lot of friends there. And, uh, yeah, I, I miss Chicago. Not not some of this time of year, but but uh, I love Chicago. Well, if right, you roll into town, uh, come yeah. on by, Carl. It's nice to talk to you. For more, you can check Absolutely. out allenexploration.com and also check out Carl's YouTube page or follow him on social media. Thanks, Carl. Thank you, guys. Thank you Thank very much. Thank you.